What about uh, Andrew Brady? How, he ended up in prison. How did yeah. that come about? Was he a stalker? Or what, yeah, what, so, so this was all connected. So this was another reason why I was so shocked when the cancellation campaign against me happened last year because Brady had actually ended up in jail for making false allegations against me and stalking me. So he was a previous fiancé of Caroline Flack. But the thing is, he tried to buy into this narrative of me in some way um, being bad for Caroline. Well, that could not be further from the truth. So Caroline... I. I only ever wrote a story about Caroline that she knew about and that she was happy about, right? I was very, very clear to her I would never write something she didn't want. So she was the one who provided me what was going on with, with Andrew Brady. It had to be out there because he had done some really terrible things. And all I can think is that he couldn't get over his own guilt for what he had done. So, and hopefully this paints a picture of what we're dealing with here. So, you know, um, on that terrible night with Caroline and and her then fiancé, um, where there ended up being the physical alt altercation. Oh, and blood. Yeah, and, and a lamp had been thrown, right? So, Andrew Brady taunted Caroline over that so much, was trying to sell his story, claim that she was abusive to him and all, all of that, which I don't believe. But do you know, he was in Australia at the time. He sent Caroline a lamp in the post to arrive at her house to taunt her for the fact that she had apparently thrown this lamp. Well, the lamp didn't arrive until after she'd died. So this was the type of guy we were dealing with. I'm prepared to take a lot, but he was threatening physical violence. He clearly wasn't all there. And this was all being done on social media. And the police took it very, very seriously. And yeah, he ended up, he ended up being jailed for it. I actually wish him well. Um, Again, I never, I never understood it. I never understood it. Like he literally had been at events with Caroline and I. He knew that we were friends. He knew that we got on. He knew that we spoke to, that she spoke to me all the time. So why was he trying to create this narrative? He also knew, by the way, that he'd sent me messages trying to do the dirty on her and sell an interview on her, and I had literally turned him down and said, I have zero interest in doing that. So, yeah, he went to jail, but not for long. Four months? Yeah, and I... Because he was on Big Brother, he was on yeah, that train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, it was nuts, and I wish him well. I'm very sad about what happened with him. Um, but again, I just, I never understood it. Look, it wasn't true. Nothing that he was saying was true. You know, he was saying absolutely crazy. I mean, he was comparing me to Hitler. It was nuts. But I think that guy, and again, like I'm nervous even talking about him because I worry, is it, I mean, I have like a five-year restraining order out against him. He's not able to be in the vicinity of me. You know, the judge has been very clear, you know, and I published my victim impact statement because I wanted to people to know the truth about Caroline and I, because no one actually knew the truth about it at that point. Um, and the judge was very clear, you know, if he says or does anything towards me again, he'll go back to jail, which presumably he doesn't want. But as I say, I wish him well. I want him to have a good, positive life. He should do. He was a talented guy. Things went wrong with Caroline. He's got a chance at a second life. Now, I believe he's got children and, and has a partner and I wish him well. Um, but it's not fair to try and paint me as someone who was against Caroline. And certainly any suggestion that I was responsible for anything that happened to her um, negatively at the end. Basically, the son had published 
the picture. So, so this all comes from the fact the Sun published the picture of the bloody bed, right, um, where the incident took place. And again, this is completely factual. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but I just have to tell the truth. I was in New Zealand when the Sun published that picture. I was on holiday. No one had told me about it. The reason no one had told me about it is they knew that I would have been absolutely disgusted and horrified and said, you cannot do that because I was in direct communication with Caroline, her manager, and her PR. And the moment that Sun front page dropped, her PR copied me on an email saying, what the, like with the Sun news desk saying, what the hell? And that was literally the first I knew about it. And I think it was an absolutely terrible decision to, to publish that picture, but it was nothing to do with me. It was nothing to do with me. Now, again, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but I just have to be honest because people try and suggest that I was somehow involved in publishing that picture and I wasn't. The truth is I was in constant communication with Caroline. I was only publishing stories that she was happy with. And, and I still have the messages, you know, she had said to me that she wanted me to do her first interview once she was through the legal process. So I, I loved her a lot and I miss her a lot, but I also don't want to act as if I felt anywhere near the loss of her family or close friends or anything like that. But but it's just the, the narrative around um, what people have. And I, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't get what people achieve by doing that. But all I, I, I guess I've tried to understand it. And as I say, I've never spoken about it until now. But personally, I've tried to understand it and through therapy and things like that. And I can only think that when someone dies like that in the most shocking way, People want to blame someone. They want to have one person to blame. And what happened to Caroline was so shocking. And I and I think people still are not over it. Um, but I but you will not find me. People do you, do you know something that always goes around on, on Twitter? I see it constantly. People say that I deleted a whole load of stories that 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 I ran about Caroline. No. They, the stories don't exist because I never wrote a negative word about Caroline. You will not find a negative word about Caroline from me. And actually, the one front page of The Sun that people sometimes show is one, I think the headline was something like Flack, Sack, ITV. I can't remember exactly what the headline is. But the headline looks as if it's a sensational headline, right, on the front page. As soon as you read the story... What the story was about was attacking ITV for the decision to sack Caroline when they had stood by Ant McPartland, you know, of Ant and Deck fame. Because, you know, I also did all of the interviews with Ant. Uh, I'm the only person he's ever spoken to about both times that he came through his big drug addictions. The drug um, driver. Yeah, so the, the first one was before that. And then there was the, so yeah, both of his big interviews and comebacks he, he, he did with me. But 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 the stories that I was were writing at that time was to say, sorry, ITV, how on earth can you stand by Ant, who I like a lot, but how can you stand by him, but you're not standing by Caroline? Like, and remember, Lewis, Caroline's fiance, he didn't want the charges to be pressed. Like, yeah. So so it's wrong. It's really unfortunate that this myth has been perpetuated because what it unfortunately has meant is that I've never been able to like celebrate my friendship with Caroline. Mm -hmm. So I've never been able to post about her, never been able to share any pictures of us together or anything like that because... If you do that now, people are just thinking you're doing it for to make out your friends yeah and people are, people just attack me about it all the time so i as i say this is the first time i've ever spoken publicly about caroline and the andrew brady situation because for some reason people twisted and it's become this yeah like as i say like even some friends of mine have said that, like oh pe my friends think that you killed caroline it's 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 hard it, that's really hard because as I say, it was just could not have been further from the truth.